If you're thinking about buying a recreational vehicle or a camping trailer, and you are also someone who thinks about emergency preparedness, you might be able to hit two birds with one stone with something like this Turtleback Expedition off-road camping trailer. I'm John from The Prepared, and we bought this trailer in summer 2020 and have traveled around the country with it to see if not only is it a great trailer, but can it serve a role in modern emergency preparedness. Although this category of overlanding or off-roading trailer was already exploding before 2020, COVID lockdowns have just accelerated this trend, and lots of people are looking at buying recreational vehicles and trailers for safe ways to get their family out of the house for some recreation during these weird COVID times. So while a lot of people are thinking about recreational vehicles and trailers more so for the kind of daily life recreation during these lockdown times, some people are wondering, well, if I'm going to make this purchase anyway, maybe I should pick one thing over the other because it could also serve a dual purpose as part of my emergency preparedness plans. Maybe it's a bug out vehicle that we use when we have to evacuate our home due to a wildfire or some other kind of natural disaster. One of the key features that separates a trailer like this Turtleback from other types of recreational vehicles is that it is specifically built for heavy duty off-roading or overlanding capabilities. What that means is, unlike a typical RV or even a teardrop pop-up type of trailer that might be able to handle kind of manicured dirt roads and something like a national park, this kind of trailer can pretty much go anywhere a souped up off-road vehicle like a Jeep or a truck can go. Now, being level-headed about this, the chances that you face an emergency where the difference between whether or not you survive depends on your ability to go off-road, those chances are pretty small, right? Most of the time, you might have to evacuate an area and you can stay on the paved roads. There's probably going to be traffic jams, but you'll likely be okay. However, if you really value covering all your bases in an emergency situation, having the ability to go off-road is really valuable. And that's what attracted us to make this purchase. So let's take a look at some of the features, particularly the things that make this a great vehicle for emergencies. Sticking with the theme of off-roading, one of my favorite things about the Turtleback is how well it handles a variety of off-road terrain. The ground clearance is fantastic. I happened to put 35-inch Nito Ridge Grappler tires on this, which match my tow vehicle, the Jeep. That gives it extra ground clearance. But then if you can see the suspension underneath, Turtleback partnered with Icon to make really great suspension. It did add to the cost of the trailer, but it makes a difference. You can see just how beefy this axleless suspension is, and I can tell you that it has handled almost anything that our Jeep can handle. If you're familiar with the off-road trail rating system, that kind of one to nine ranking system, our Jeep can typically handle sevens without much body damage. And we've been comfortable taking the trailer behind us on trails rated up to about a six. But if push came to shove and we really needed to, we'd feel confident that we could get it over a seven. Another key feature for being able to go off road and handle whatever comes at you is the hitch. It doesn't matter how well built the trailer is and how off road capable it is, if the attachment between the trailer and the vehicle is kind of a standard ball joint hitch, which can move left to right pretty well but all the other axes and twisting and so on that you're gonna encounter when you're going off road, those ball hitches can't handle it. Turtleback uses this max coupler hitch, which has full range of articulation along every axis. So we've literally had the vehicle like this canted one way and the trailer like that canted another way, and it's totally fine, handles it with ease. If you find yourself having to live out of this trailer for the long term, again, maybe you've had to evacuate for a long time, Power is obviously important. Now we sprung for a second battery. So this trailer has two deep cycle AGM batteries providing a ton of power, plus a 2000 watt inverter, DC to DC charging controllers, and a solar panel to give some extra juice when we're out in the field. So once we're set up, we set the panel out in the sun, plugs into the other side here, keeps the batteries about even. So in practice, what we've found is that even with running our Dometic fridge 24 seven, charging USB devices, even running some things like coffee makers, we've been able to basically keep our power even so that we're taking in as much as we're spending, which means we could last indefinitely with the power setup in this little trailer. In addition to this great pass-through storage, there's also a 42-gallon water tank. That's pretty big for a trailer of this size. We've seen trailers twice this overall size that still don't have 42 gallons of water on board. 
And of course, if you're in an emergency situation, water's critical. Plus, Turtleback was smart about where they put that water tank. It's directly centered, left to right, over the wheels, mostly centered front to back, and that gives you some weight stability when you're going over difficult terrain. This trailer features a soft shell, clamshell style rooftop tent, which is what you can see up here, a product from 23.0. Now, Turtleback makes the trailer, and then you can tell them what kind of tent and other features that you want, and they'll install it for you. We chose this California king size memory foam mattress rooftop tent from 23.0. If you're not familiar with rooftop tents, the way they work is we take off the cover and the whole thing folds open like this. So you end up with the tent overhanging this area here where the floor is about head height. That creates a nice kind of overhang protected area for the control panel where you control your water, your batteries, all the different lights, accessories, and so on. So even if you're in really nasty conditions, with that tent open, my head would be covered right now. Plus, we sprung for what they call the annex. When that tent is open, and that platform is right about here, you can zip on kind of a lower level tent. So not only do you have the tent up here, but when it's open, there's another tent that can zip down and come all the way down to the ground with a protected floor. This is great for people that have kids or dogs or just want extra protected space in case the weather's really bad. The kitchen is at the back and another one of our favorite features. Especially compared to other trailers in this class, there is a ton of prep space back here in the kitchen. We also like that the kitchen was oriented at the back as opposed to some models where the kitchen kind of slides out from the side because that way we kind of open up our base camp area and can hang out here around the fire. In addition to these two fold-down tables, you've got two pull-out drawers for pots and pans and all kinds of stuff. A really excellent two-burner cooktop that gets really hot quickly, running off the integrated 11-pound propane tank that sits over here on the side, plus lots of great safety features so that you're not going to burn things when you're out in the field. Dometic sink with runoff tubes so you can keep all that runoff water away from your campsite. There's an integrated hot water heater that also has a six gallon water tank. So with the 42 gallons on board, plus the six in the water tank, that's 48 gallons of water. For two people, that's two or three weeks worth of water. Some other upgrades that we sprung for was this integrated tube storage. So if you've got fishing poles or things like that, easy peasy. In addition to this picnic table storage, so this space above the trailer but below the tent is just the perfect size for one of those standard kind of folding leg picnic tables. So we stick two in there, get to our off-grid campsite, pull out those tables, and in fact, we've even made them workstations. So combined with the tables, the power, and everything else about this, we've been able to live and work out of this trailer indefinitely. Other great emergency features, you can have spare fuel, spare water, you can obviously have a spare tire, or you could swap this out and have something like a bike rack. Another great feature is this 270 degree awning, also from 23.0, the same company that makes the tent. When you open it up, it spans all the way from the Jeep here to the other side of the trailer where the tent is. 270 degrees protection, that's three quarters of a circle. So when you have the tent deployed, and you've got that annex underneath the tent, plus this awning, you've almost got completely circular coverage around the trailer from shade and weather. Plus, there's an upgrade to this awning that they refer to as the walls. Once the awning is deployed, you can attach these walls to the awning, creating a ceiling and walls, which essentially turns all this room into a protected area. So with the awning open, the walls on, the tent open and the annex on, you have over 300 square feet of enclosed protected area just surrounding this trailer. So this little trailer almost becomes a mini apartment when you're out in the field. Great for fun and great for emergencies. Not only is the Turtleback Expedition a really great trailer for the price, but this can make sense for modern emergency preparedness with a few caveats. This kind of heavy duty off-road trailer 
only make sense for you if you meet a few criteria. The first of which is, do you have an off-road capable vehicle? I tow this behind a pretty souped up Jeep Wrangler that we already do a lot of off-roading with. So we were already comfortable with the idea of off-roading and had the equipment to do so. So adding an off-road camping trailer behind was easy and made sense for us. So if you don't already have or plan on buying soon an off-road capable vehicle that could take advantage of this kind of trailer, then there's really no point in buying it. You're going to be stuck on the roads no matter what. Another key criteria is, do you already enjoy going out in the outdoors? It doesn't really make sense to drop the money on this kind of purchase only for emergency preparedness. You don't want to keep it in a shed until some theoretical future emergency. Where this really shines is if you can hit two birds with one stone by getting value out of it in your daily life, but then also having it on hand when an emergency strikes. The third and last criteria is, do you have the ability to store it on your property or very close to your property? Because again, if the point of this is to also serve for emergency preparedness, but it's stored in a parking lot 40 miles away, you're not going to have an easy time getting to it in an emergency, and the value of it in that emergency is really going to drop off. So if you have an off-road capable vehicle, you already enjoy camping, going outdoors in your daily life, and you have the ability to store something like this on or very near your property, then this kind of purchase can make a lot of sense. You get enjoyment out of it in your daily life, and it's there for emergencies.